So I want to talk a little bit about your job as a cook because that's mm -hmm. like interesting and unusual. You don't like meet a lot of female <laughs> cooks, especially like hot female cooks. Yeah. Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they're out there and I just they have not revealed themselves to me. Mm -hmm. But um, so how did you like get into that? Did you love cooking from an early age? Like, do you remember as a kid making stuff? I actually didn't. I my mom's very like. OCD and picky in a great way. I love her so much, but she only made like certain things and her palate was very, um, I don't know. She raised us not very explorative with food mm -hmm. and she also didn't really need help in the kitchen. She was a single mom and it was kind of like, I'm doing everything. Mm -hmm. um, I actually didn't start cooking until I was 17, I was working at this restaurant and I was just hosting, doing front of the housework. And another female cook was kind of like, oh, you, I guess just my energy kind of made her think that I would do well uh, in the kitchen. So I started training and two years later, I was like the head cook at that restaurant. Oh, wow. And then just, yeah, I just kind of fell in love with it. Fell in love with the organization and mm -hmm. mise en place. And mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know, that I always compare like a busy day in a restaurant feels a lot like a like mon set day. Mm. And that feeling, even if you're in the weeds and things aren't going right or you're behind schedule, you're by the end of it, you're like, we did that. Mm -hmm. We got through that. And you can go home feeling like a little more fulfilled. Yeah. So that's why I always loved about it. Yeah. So as the head cook, did you get to decide on new menu items? Did you like oversee other people? I used like, would you like, what would you do specifically? Were mm -hmm. there like certain things you're like, okay, I do the main and other people do the sides or like, how does it yeah. work? Yeah. Yeah. I would do stuff like that or, um, like open the restaurant, set up everything, train new people. Um, I worked, yeah, at this creperie and the owner, most of the time she would come up with the uh, menu. Mm -hmm. So I never got that experience. It's very rare that I worked in restaurants and mm -hmm. that was a thing. So that's why I always tell people like, the difference between being a chef and a cook was I cooked what people told me to cook. Okay. And when you're a chef, you usually get more of a you get to come up with recipes okay. it's so it was very rare i got to do that <laughs> okay so that's interesting i didn't know that there was a distinction there mm -hmm. and that totally makes sense yeah and people always are like you were a chef i'm like yeah sure yeah. <laughs> like but i'm sure to people out there who really like have worked hard to be a chef i'm, I'm sure it's probably a big slap in the face sometimes so i don't always consider myself to be a chef um Mostly just at home is mm -hmm. the only time I'm like, oh, I mean, I kind of come up with something mm -hmm. or do my own version of a recipe. Right, <laughs> right. What is like your favorite thing about cooking? It's honestly like I love just I feel like it's a meditation for me just chopping everything, mm. like sharpening knives, chopping, um, setting everything up, having like my whole mise en place mm -hmm. organized and then watching what I create with that. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's fun. It's So my husband does all the cooking at home and I don't mind cooking. I, mm -hmm. I like to cook and I cook sometimes, but I have like this weird thing about cooking where I feel like I would get into it more, but this is gonna sound really strange. But the strange thing about like cooking that I find unsatisfactory for me is that you make something and then it's gone. <laughs> right. <laughs> which of course like is the point you're making food for people to consume and like have an experience but I don't know like for me I'm just like I work so hard to make this beautiful thing and then you just like cut it up and like shove it in your mouth and mm -hmm. just like I, I don't, and I think that that also relates to why I love photography so much right because I love the permanence of it mm -hmm. I'm freezing this moment in time mm -hmm. that can never be replicated and I'm saving it and I'm preserving it right and like Food is like the opposite of that. <laughs> so I think like there's just some weird like internal struggle that I have with it. But then there's also something really satisfying about making something that people mm -hmm. really enjoy. Well, there's a, actually, I just watched a movie the other day called Autumn in New York with like 
I think it's Richard Greer and Winona Ryder, but he's a chef in it. And she asked him like what he loves about being a chef or something. And what he said was, it's the only art form that is nourishing, like it, mm -hmm. that you actually like, I mean, I'm sure you could say that about anything, but that's like the one thing you but he bring means out, like, a literal, like literal sense of <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so could start seeing it as that, but I, but I understand that where you're like, okay. And then there's also the mess yeah. and <laughs> yeah. that you're like, huh, it was so pretty for like, five seconds and yeah. then it's all because <laughs> people like bring stuff out and i'm like this is so gorgeous like i don't want to mm -hmm. eat it because it's right really pretty mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the biggest mistake that people make in the kitchen cockiness i think i think when people especially because i worked in a kitchen where i was young for many of the years and i would deal with people who I would have to train and they were older than me or maybe more experienced, but then they would fuck up because they think like, oh, well, I don't need to. She doesn't know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Or like men. Yeah. Yeah. So that I always dealt with, but it's always like, okay, cool. Like if, if you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, Cause even I learned that like, um, and asking for help, like you need to ask for help. There's no room to have an ego in the kitchen. Yeah. No matter how talented or like uh, far you get, in that world, I think you always have to remind yourself there's, and the thing is about cooking, it's like there's so many different types of food to learn how to cook. Mm -hmm. So you may be really good at cooking French food, but you might not know anything about like mm -hmm. Asian food. So yeah, it's always good to remind yourself like, oh, like, I don't know, that there's room for growth always. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, there's so many variables, right, with different kinds of food and consistencies yeah. and mm -hmm. textures and mm -hmm. the way it cooks. So what is like a, what do you see is the most common mistake that like the average person makes in their home making like a, a regular meal, whether it be, you know, some of the things that I, I, I can think of that myself, I have trouble with sometimes is like cooking chicken breast mm -hmm. or like making omelets. Um, even there's apparently even like a, a right way to boil an egg mm -hmm. um, baking like what is if there's like one piece of one like mistake that you see people stumble on a lot could you point out like one particular thing probably just attention to detail because mm -hmm. <laughs> even I've fucked stuff up where I'm like oh my god I left that in the oven for too long or yeah yeah but yeah because a lot everything I learned how to cook I learned from chefs and in kitchens so I feel very honored for that it's very rare I think I've ever watched a YouTube tutorial and been like okay I'm gonna go do that I'm like I'm all I know like, how I'm I know what I learned <laughs> right they're great but I'm like whatever I'll read a recipe and just from like my past learning I'm like okay well I know how like to do this just from because they won't least, tell like, you like certain thing because like isn't the cookware that you have like isn't that really important because if it doesn't mm -hmm. like cook evenly it doesn't or like there's certain things that you should cook like certain meats in or you should keep everything kind of separate but that's also like my my cook brain being like okay this is the cutting boards for poultry this is cutting boards for veggies mm -hmm. <laughs> this is yeah like cast irons are great um global chef's knives are great like there's just but it's also like that's my world like I think you can make do with whatever you have right and still make good food yeah yeah because <laughs> there's people out in the jungles that make great food with yeah. mm, very little <laughs> right 